Hello guys, I think there's a problem in Laravel starter kits, in all of them. It's the visual design. It's not actually a problem, it's a real life scenario. So imagine you're creating a website which has a public homepage, like listing of some advertisement products or eShop, and then you want the users to manage their products or something like that, and then they land on Breeze, or Jetstream, or one of the new starter kits, or even Filament. It's totally different design and not on brand. It's not a bad design, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if you want users in public, not your admins or your company employees to manage their data, look at the user experience. I vibe coded a prototype, so here's a car marketplace with photos not from car, well one of them is. And look at this, so you have a listing of cars, you may go and read about them, you may email the owner, and then users want to add their own cars. So there is a link to join now, this is landing page which is kind of minimal but beautiful in my opinion, and then they go register and they see this. And when they do register, they see this. So different colors, different fonts, some logo, it may be Laravel even left. Then you go into my cars and this is totally different feeling. So you feel like you're on a totally different website than the home page. So this is the problem. Now, what if I told you that Laravel starter kits can be customized, leaving the same backend functionality, but totally changing the front end in Blade. In fact, I've done exactly that with the help of Cloud AI. If I refresh now, see, it's still Breeze, but it is on brand with logos and colors. So we can go to home page and browse here something, and then you have the sidebar here, the top bar I mean, and then you can go to profile, and it's still Laravel Breeze, but the colors are the same, well, except for delete account, but that's for a reason because it should be a red button, but then the navigation stays the same. You can go to My Cars. This is Laravel Breeze. If you go to add your first car, the form is Laravel Breeze. But see, the feeling is different. It feels cohesive on brand and doesn't feel like you're even using any starter kit. So how to do that? First, when using starter kit and then planning the homepage, you should use starter kit right away, even without the design. The design changes come after, but when you use Laravel new, you should either choose starter kits from the official Laravel 12 ones or install Laravel Breeze right away, because this will modify your routes web, add the profile here, add routes auth here. So this comes from Laravel Breeze and any starter kit would basically edit your routes web. Then from here, you may build your homepage. In this case, it's just a blade without even a controller. It may be a controller if you wish, but that's not the point of this video. So first step, Laravel Breeze, then you build your homepage, and then when you're ready to merge those designs together, in fact, when you do have the front end design, then you go to blade files of Laravel Breeze and make the changes. So if we look at what Laravel Breeze consists of, it's actually profile controller, and then in routes auth, we may find a lot of auth controllers with all the logic of login, registration, forgot password, and stuff like that. And we should not touch them at all. The backend logic, the controller, stay the same. The routes stay the same. So this is the backend part of any starter kit, basically. To be honest, I haven't tried it with the official Laravel 12 starter kits, but I think the logic should be pretty similar. Controllers should not change if you want to change just the design. And then these are the files of Laravel Breeze that actually change. Here's a git commit. As you can see, it's only about resources views, then auth is from Breeze, and then some components needs to be changed because Laravel Breeze come with some blade components, and then with layout and navigation. So you're changing CSS in, for example, blade file to include navigation as maybe blade component. Basically, you're working with blade, tailwind classes, and if you see the necessity, you refactor that into new components. So primary button, for example, change the colors, but then also site navigation for it to be seen on the public and in Laravel Breeze. It becomes a separate blade component, again, in resources use components. And for example, login blade, if we take a look, we have a new kind of header of that login, then a few changes here and there for margin top, for example, 
and the colors will change actually in the components part of them or sometimes from indigo you change to text blue for example and yeah you see the pattern and guess what most of it was done by ai by claude code because i'm not a front-end designer i'm not that good with css i just gave it the pattern so see the home page make laravel breeze design on brand with the same colors then it had extra 10 ish smaller prompts and manual fixes to make it look good but my overall point from this experiment is that you don't need to create some custom auth or custom starter kit if you just want to change the design to be on brand laravel breeze starter kit is probably the easiest to customize compared to laravel 12 official starter kits which require react view or live wire so it's more complicated maybe the live wire one is the easiest from those three but then you have flux inside so I'm not sure i would need to experiment with those but this is an experiment with laravel breeze what do you think in your case in your situations when you're creating a client facing project and you need a user area do you use any starter kit or do you start from scratch with your own authentication logic login register pages and stuff like that let's discuss in the comments below and by the way if you haven't seen yet i have a new channel ai coding daily where i perform certain experiments like in this case for laravel starter kits so you can follow my journey on that channel subscribe to see me reviewing various ai tools and provide the opinion that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos